I just I, I couldn't right because I understood what I was what I what I have in store I can't continue to live like this when I was sick <laughs> that was like one of the hardest times that I that I've like been through because I, I there was times where I felt like I wasn't gonna make it I'm not gonna lie like I was it wasn't that funny then but I, I laugh about it now what's up dogs it's Daryl we're back here welcome to the dog house where I'm gonna be dropping a new video every single day for the next 60 days I'm gonna be sharing gems and lessons that I've learned over my last two years investing in real estate and just becoming an entrepreneur in general which better way than to start from the beginning how did I get started in real estate in the first place I mean never in a million years that I think that I was gonna be an entrepreneur at all in the first place I went to school to play football right people would always ask me what's my major in school and I always used to joke around and tell them football right so I was in there for biology I, a, I got a biology degree um, <clears throat> but that's not I didn't I can't say I'll use any of that stuff that I've learned to get my degree I mean I'm I'm grateful that I went to school but it's more for the relationships that I built and the lessons that I've learned playing football right throughout my whole my whole life so so being in school I really don't don't use much of what I learned in, in the classroom, right? I, I, I learned more with the people that I met. I found more value with the people that I've met and the lessons that I've learned playing football, right? Lessons like how to go through adversity, right? How to be a dog, right? How to be a dog for one. Um, just knowing that that shit doesn't happen overnight, right? Like we would practice every single day, work out every single day throughout the year for 12 games in the season. Right, and it, it just, it shows delayed gratification, right? That's where that, where that comes in. So things like that is what I, what I love and what, I, what I'm super grateful for, for going to school about. And when, when that was over, right, when that all ended, I was almost, I was almost lost for a second, right? I had, I had no clue what was going on. Um, I ended up moving into to a house with, with some guys that were on the team, and one of the guys ended up being a, being a real estate agent. Right, and that's what introduced me to, to real estate in general. My, my, my friend had said that, that wholesaling was dead because um, he has done a few wholesale deals in the past and, and he, was, he was working on some other things, right? Being a real estate agent, he was trying to be a developer and all that good stuff. Um, but me, I was still at the, the entry. I didn't really understand anything about real estate at the time, right? So I was working security at the time. Um, I was a little bigger back then, you know what I mean? But I was working security in, in the clubs in DC um, and had a dispensary, right? So I, I was one foot in, one foot out because I was making good money with security, right? I really didn't, I was comfortable, right? I, I was living in a nice house with, with two roommates. We were living in, a, in a, like a really big house. Um, and I was actually, I was, I was driving a nice car and, and I was comfortable. It was no real reason for me to, to have to get into real estate, right? And then, then it got to a point where I, I needed the money right the clubs were, were shutting down the the dispensary was shutting down and i had no job at one point right and i'm the type of person where i don't know about y'all but i'm not i'm not getting no no handouts i wasn't taking no, none of the uh the uh government assistance stuff like i wasn't doing unemployment none of that it was just my mindset would not allow me to do it right so i started to to learn more right about about real estate and just watch more YouTube videos and, and just get become still still had one foot in one foot out. It wasn't until I, I had a falling out with with my, my roommate um, where everything changed. Right. I, I had a falling out. I, I do a lot of things. I did a lot of things based off just impulse decisions. Right. So at that time we got an argument. It almost got pretty physical and, and I just left. Right. I, I moved all my stuff out. Um, and mind you, I'm living in another state right now. I'm not in my home state. I have no family. I, I had some friends, right? So I, I started calling my friends to see who could I stay with, right? So this, I, I have all my stuff in my car. I'm living, like, I'm in a hotel right now, right? And I don't, I don't, have, I don't have money like that, right? Because I haven't been working the past couple months. I had a good job before, and I had a girl at the time, so girls are fucking expensive, right? So I, I really didn't have much money, right? So I'm, I'm at a hotel. Just trying to figure out what the hell can I do? I'm calling some of my friends. It's crazy. Some friends that you think that would would be there for you, that you were there for in a in, in a time where where they needed you, in the time when I needed them, I, I couldn't really find many people, right? Until I until I hit a couple of my boys and 
I wasn't even I wasn't even thinking about them, right? They were like my my third third fourth person I called, and they allowed me to come to come stay at their house, right? And the situation was crazy, right? I, I had originally asked them to stay there for like three months, um, because I was working on on a real estate deal, and I'll, I'll get into that that first deal in the next video. Um, but I was working on a deal, and it was supposed to close at a certain time. So I'm like, yeah, I just need this deal to close. Once it closes. I find an apartment, I'll be out. Long story short, that two months turned into like four, right? And uh, mind you, this whole time I'm I'm in a living room, right? I'm sleeping on on the floor. I, they have an air mattress for me, right? But the air mattress had a hole in it, so every single night, bro, I had to pump up this air mattress every morning. I'd wake up with my back touching the floor. It was it was it was fun. I laugh at it now. It wasn't that funny then, but I laugh, I laugh about it now. But I just knew, right, that I had something greater in store for me. So as I'm doing that, I'm, I'm waking up every day super early, right? I start cold calling. This is when I become obsessed with, with real estate, right? I, I'm watching videos. I replaced listening to music and playing video games with listening to audio books and, and podcasts, right? Like I, 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 was, I was still playing the game here and there, right? I, I, I didn't go all the way like locked in at this point, but I'm waking up and first thing I do is put Brent Daniels on, start cold calling, right? TTP, I'm talking to people all day, right? And then I, I still have my nine to five, right? So I'm going to work at this time. I'm going to work around like two o'clock is when I started work. Um, I had worked second shift. So I would go to work from like two to like 11, right? 10, 11. And while I'm at work, <laughs> I'm sitting here sending texts all day. Right. I'm sending texts all day. And it got to the point where I worked on I worked in a lab. But we had computers right at the time. So I'm on the computer and I'm I'm on batch leads and I'm just sending texts all day. Send a text. I get somebody to respond. I go outside and I make the call. And when you're at a lab, right, you have like what's called uh, PP protective gear. Right. Where you have the gloves, you have the lab coat, you have the goggles. Right. So I had to go into this room. Every single time somebody texts me, I had to hurry up, sign out, go into this room, take all my gloves off, take everything off the right way because I can, I can contaminate other people's stuff if I do it the wrong way, right? So I had to go through all that and then run outside and jump on the phone. Hopefully it was a good lead, <laughs> right? Half the time they, they were bad leads, but I didn't care because I was obsessed at this point, right? And I just knew that this was the way, right? So every single day, this is what I'm doing, right? And then... When I was staying with my boys, I had I had two dogs. So I was expecting somebody to bring me in with two dogs as well, two big dogs. Yeah. And the one she like would cry all the time, right? Yeah, the one she would cry all the time. So I had to give her away and that, that sucked. Like she was my first dog and that sucked. I had to find a new home for her, gave her away. Um, and yeah, like I was, I, I had to just make it happen, right? I had to do what I had to do because I remember this, this one time my dad called me and he's like, like I was telling him my situation and everything. He's like, why don't you just come home? And I was like, no, I, I can't, I can't do it. I moved out of my, I moved out of my home state when I was 18 years old. At this time I'm, I'm 22, right? There's no way I was going back home. And it wasn't because I don't, I don't love my parents that I don't want to see my parents and my family. It's because it's the mindset that, that is, going on the mindsets of of the people back home it's it's infectious right it's contagious so if i would have went back home in a, t in a time right there like when i'm trying to change my mindset and become a, a new person it would have been detrimental right i would have fell back into my old ways and i would became that person that i'm trying to avoid right the, per the person i don't want to be anymore right so i couldn't do it I stayed in Maryland. I had to. I had to figure it out. I was paying my boys' rent, and during this time, right, they're having, and this is a very sensitive time. Like as I'm trying to to transition to to a, a new person, different mindset, right. I have to cut all the old things that I was doing behind, right. So as I'm at this, saying with my boys, they're having parties every weekend, right. They have a nice house. They're they're having parties every single weekend. The old me would have been there. Right. I, I would have been in the parties, but I just I, I couldn't. Right. Because I understood what I was what I what I have in store. I can't continue to live like this. Right. I was super uncomfortable. I could not continue to live like that. So what I would do is I would go to my car 
during the parties, I would, I would first I'll take my dog on a super long walk, right? Listen to a to an audio book. When he gets tired, I'd, I'd go put him away. I'd go to my car and listen to a, a audio book, read a book, right? Strategize on on how I can just be better at wholesaling, right? And and I, I was there for hours <laughs> until the party was over, like most times, right? And I think that that was a pivotal point in my life, right? Because it showed me what show me what I what I don't want, right? I, I knew what I wanted, and that showed me what I didn't want. So I I like all the things I didn't want. I started to avoid them, right? I started to avoid them, and that was really tough. Uh, like that was really really hard. Like I'll be really transparent. Like just they're having parties. There's, there's girls there, right? The girls are trying to they're they're obviously drunk. They're trying to talk to me when I'm walking in and out, right? And I just I had to be strong, right? Because that's not what my mission is. It's not what my plan is, right? And I just knew that God had something way better for me, right? So we're about three months into me staying. I'm, I'm actually, I should have been gone, right? I overstayed my welcome at this point. And I kind of feel it. Like, I feel the boys in the house. They're like, you know, you should have been gone, right? And I, I get it, right? I, I shouldn't, I said two months. It's, it's three. And it's looking like it's going to be another one, right? And I ended up getting sick, right? You, you know what I got, right? I ended up getting sick. Um, and it's weird, but that was honestly one of the best things that's happened to me, right? Because I came back, I talked to them, and they were like, yo, I'm sorry. Like, we love you, but you got to go. And at first, I didn't understand. I, I'm not going to lie. I was mad. I was like, come on, like, you're going to kick me out, right? Like, I would never do that to you. You know what I'm saying? And they they just weren't having it right so i'm like okay so i'm sitting in my car i, said, I asked him i said can you at least just just hold my dog down just watch my dog for about a week a week or two right until i'm better i'll come back and get him all right they're like that's cool i'm like perfect so i'm sitting in my car and i'm just thinking again where do i go <laughs> right where where do i go i got my car but i can't live in my car it's the middle of the winter right there's snow outside is it's in maryland like it's cold i can't just live in my car right so I started looking stuff up online, um, and luckily there's a hotel in Baltimore where they were taking in COVID patients, right? It was crazy, right? They were taking in COVID patients for free. I called them, and um, I asked them, like, do you have any availability, blah, blah, blah. They're like, yeah, we actually have a couple more rooms. Um, we'll come pick you up and everything. I'm like, thank you. Like, I'm here. They actually first said they couldn't come to the spot because I was too far, because then they had to pick me up. So I'm like, I will meet y'all somewhere. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I need somewhere to go. And um, they ended up coming to pick me up in Odenton. It's about 30 minutes from Baltimore. They took me back. Uh, and I, I'm not going to lie. When I walked into, the, they, they took me to the, to the back, like this back entrance of a hotel, right? First thing they did was they, they made me take all my, my belongings out. They looked through all my stuff, make sure I didn't have any weapons, or drugs, or anything like that, which is cool, right? Looked at my stuff. I don't have anything. Fine. They took me in this, like, service elevator, took me to the very top floor, <laughs> And a lot of you die. It looked like it was straight off of a horror scene, right? There was lights flickering uh, at every corner. They were like, mat, like uh, they weren't even. I don't even think they were doctors, but they were. They were just there, right? They may have been nurses, but they had the full protective gear on, and it just it was just looking scary. I'm not gonna lie. It looked like straight out of a horror scene. They took me to my room, but they were the nicest people, right? They took me to my room, gave me some medicine, gave me some food, and now I'm just here, right? I, I had like I think they gave me two weeks to stay there. And I'm like, man, I just couldn't stop thinking like how much of a blessing this was. The hotel room wasn't, wasn't the nicest. It wasn't, wasn't the cleanest, but it was a room, right? I was super grateful for that, for that moment. And all I could think of was I need to close these deals, right? I was sick. I was like, when I had, when I was sick, <laughs> that was like one of the hardest times that I, that I've like been through because I, I, there was times where I felt like I wasn't going to make it. I'm not going to lie. Like I was, and it was a lot mental too, right? I was, I was depressed at, at that point sometimes. And it was just like, just why, right? I just kept thinking like, why, why am I going through this? Why am I going through this? Right. But I just, just stay, stay faithful, just talking to God about it. And during this time, I've already, I've already closed my first deal. Right. Um, but I had to pay off some debts, <laughs> right? I had to pay off some debts. So I still wasn't where I needed to be. But at this point, I had two deals that I was working on, right? What ended up happening was um, I had thought I almost had to cancel a deal that I had under contract, ended up finding a buyer, and 
had two deals closed back to back like in that in that same it was like the day before i was supposed to end up getting out right and during that time i, I was i had a realtor looking for an apartment for me um because I didn't, I didn't have the money at the time but i knew it was coming right so he was looking for the apartment he found the apartment the day after that i got the that i closed those two that i closed the first deal he found the apartment and then literally the day i left i had an apartment waiting for me like i got approved and everything during that that week you know what i mean that's how the journey started right ever since then i just didn't stop i realized that this is my vehicle i need to put my foot on the gas and i had no clue what i was in store for in the next year next two years if you made it this far you're a dog i'm gonna need you to drop dog in the comments right now right and make sure if you're not already subscribed subscribe to the channel like this video hit that bell at the bottom for me and because I'm going to be posting for 60 days, these next 60 days, I'm going to have a video for you every single day, just dropping gems after gems. And I have a lot of it mapped out, but not all of it. So if you have anything you want to hear, any, any value that you want, any questions, if you have any, any videos that you want me to drop, put it in the comment below. We'll take a look at them and we'll drop some videos. But this is my first video. I'm out of here, y'all. I'm in a whip, Peace. so I got a zoom. They trying to talk, they not in a room. I've been so real, I'm dead to the tomb. They in the